All right, hello everyone. My name is Landon, and today I'll be refuting an advocate's claim that laws on pit bulls are unnecessary. Now, to refute this, I'm going to have to start by going to his supporting claim, which was pit bulls are less dangerous than other breeds. So now, I'm going to start by refuting this by saying that pit bulls are, in fact, uh, the most dangerous dog breed. And according to dogbites.org, 60% of all dog bite related deaths since 2005 to now <clears throat> have been solely due to pit bulls. And that's been 251 dog related death, uh, dog bite related deaths. Now, of that 251, 151 have been solely by pit bulls. In 2012 alone, 38 people were killed by pit bulls, 50% of which were 21 years or older, and the other 50% were 19, uh, that being 19 people, were 18 years or younger. So, of those 19 children, 15 of them were two years of age and younger. Thus, these statistics show that pit bulls are indeed dangerous, if not the most dangerous breed. Now, to the main claim. <clears throat> the main claim is that laws that ban pit bulls are unnecessary. However, I'm refuting this claim by saying that laws that ban pit bulls are necessary and should be made stronger because they, in fact, help the breed and, and protect the breed. <clears throat> Since pit bulls are so aggressive, as stated by the statistics above, uh, they are commonly used in uh, dog fighting, which is the illegal act of having two dogs fight to the death. Miami is known to have a high activity of dog fighting, even with its ban on pit bulls. Uh, this can be seen in the article by uh, Michael Mooney and uh, um, Tim Elfreak and the article, South Florida Dog Fighting uh, Rages on Despite Tough Laws, where multiple counts of dog fighting and trunking, which is the act of putting two dogs in a trunk, playing loud music, and driving around until they fight to the death. And these all have been recorded in this article. Um, now, to really expand the evidence of my point right now, uh, there's a quote in the article that provides evidence of the laws need to be made stronger. And this was said by uh, uh, many cops and prosecutors. Uh, it's the only dog fighting case closed by Miami uh, Dade Police, and this is just an example taken from one of the many uh, examples listed in it. It's like, in the past three years. Uh, but cops and prosecutors say that that speaks more to the difficulty in taking <coughs> down dog fighters. Now this shows that obviously these laws are too broad and in fact need to be made stricter and stronger and that punishments need to be uh, weight very more firm. So it is so difficult to prosecute these dog fighters because they need to be caught in the act. Therefore, by strengthening the law and increasing the punishment, possible dog fighters and current dog fighters will be uh, pushed away from the act and thus saving the lives of many pit bulls and other dogs. Therefore, this shows that the laws are indeed necessary and in fact should be made even stronger. And therefore, with these main points, I refuted uh, the advocate's main claim that laws, uh, that banned pit bulls are necessary <clears throat> by stating that the fact the laws are necessary and should be made stronger because they help protect the breed. And I refuted his supporting claim that pit bulls are less dangerous than other breeds. Thank you. All right, well, you, uh, you identify the advocate's main point, and then the secondary points, at least you got to uh, the first of those issues, which dealt with whether or not uh, pit bulls are a particularly dangerous breed. Uh, your general argument before you begin takes on that idea, and I think you've got good data here showing the danger of pit bulls when it comes to fatalities, definitely. And I think there need to be a little bit more inferences on these particular points. For example, are the pit bulls that are uh, killing and maiming these uh, 
uh, folks that you, you mentioned, are they associated with dog fighting rings or is it just simply because the breed has become ubiquitous because of the dog fighting rings that more people are exposed to them? Having presented all of that information, that really seems to focus on the danger to the public. Everything else in the rest of your speech seems to be focusing on dangers to the dogs themselves and uh, that this is really necessary in order to be able to have some ability to go after dog fighters. So I, th I think that's an interesting approach, but I think that uh, there ought to be an explanation as to whether or not these laws are effective at preventing uh, the, the dangers to the public at large. I think that's probably the bigger justification. Most people would support a dog uh, you know, the limits on pit bulls, not because, ah, oh, that's easier to, for them to prosecute the dog fighters, but rather they were trying to protect the public at large. So th that seems like it's a, a slightly different emphasis than uh, the policy seems to be uh, directed towards. On the claim about uh, whether or not it's helpful in cutting down on dog fighting, I think you've got some interesting information. I don't know that this law, you know, especially, didn't the law involve... Uh, you know, uh, neutering the dogs, uh, you know, and, and eliminating their ability to breed. There should be some explanation about how that's going to affect any of these kinds of things. Your argument mostly seems to be that we need to have bigger laws or more laws about this. Um, that they're breed specific, for instance, I think that that needs to be explained a little bit more. Uh, are pit bulls... The, the only dogs that they do this trunking with, holy cremity, what kind of sick world is it that people do crap like that? Jiminy crickets. <laughs> you know, I know that the world is a sick place sometimes, and that's just one of the places. I hadn't heard that one before. I heard all the Michael Vick crap before, but I hadn't heard this idea that they shove them in the car, drive around with the music playing loud. Do they gamble on that shit too? Excuse me, I said that <laughs> I apologize. We're all still serious. Yeah, yeah, that's not, I mean, that's not really appropriate. It's just uh, the stuff that is, yeah, I'll try and edit that out. <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, you raise an interesting issue. I'm just not sure that it's, that the second part is really as much of the issue as the advocate was talking.